New tonight, the Tampa Fire Union is vowing to take action after allegations of racism at a Tampa fire station. We first told you about this story last week when the Tampa Fire Department and Tampa Police addressed the investigation after we got pictures including an image of a toy monkey allegedly hanging at the firehouse. ABC Action News in-depth reporter Rochelle Aline joins us now in studio tonight. Rochelle, walk us through what's happened so far. Yeah, a few weeks ago, a Tampa firefighter emailed us those two photos and a paragraph of text claiming that he was subjected to racist behavior within Firehouse 13, and he was concerned that nothing was being done about it. Since then, we've been pushing the city for answers, and tonight we've built you a timeline to help you understand how we got here. This behavior is unacceptable in 2023. The Hillsborough County NAACP president tells ABC Action News she's upset. And to understand why, I have to take you back to January. According to the Tampa Fire Union, that's when this monkey was found hanging from the ceiling of Firehouse 13. According to the union president, concerns about that monkey and what it represented were brought to the city's HR department in February. And he tells ABC Action News the city's HR department wrapped up an investigation into the incident in mid-April. But at this point, the outcome of that investigation isn't clear, leading to concerns from the NAACP. So my question is, what is the city of Tampa HR department doing and is this how they handle employees' um, complaints? In an email to ABC Action News on June 15th, the black firefighter who initially filed the complaint about the monkey let us know that he found a picture of himself with a demeaning word scrawled across his forehead. He also sent us proof of that picture, but we're choosing not to show it because of that racially offensive language. It's a situation that's now causing the NAACP to also raise concerns about that first responder's safety. So you're asking him to go into uncertain conditions and have a clear frame of mind. It's hard to do when you're thinking all the time, who hung this monkey? Since that email exchange, we've been in touch with the Tampa Police Department, Tampa Fire Rescue, and the city of Tampa itself. All three have let us know that they don't tolerate this alleged behavior and confirmed that there is an active Tampa Police investigation into these concerns. All three have also declined to comment further due to that pending investigation. But Yvette Lewis with the NAACP wants to see more immediate change, starting with comprehensive diversity training for all city employees. When I said intense diversity training, we mean, I truly mean some open and candid conversations. Monday night, the Tampa Fire Union president echoed that call and told me that they would be hosting a two-day DEI training with the NAACP for all Tampa firefighters and city administration in July. He also released a lengthy statement to clarify misconceptions about the union's role in this ongoing investigation and to clear up confusion about their representation of the firefighter who launched those complaints. That statement says in part, quote, contrary to recent headlines, the union never stopped representing a member without his slash her consent. In fact, the union initiated the grievance against the city of Tampa for failing to adhere to the formal investigations provision of the CBA. Both Lewis and the union president also confirmed to us on Monday that they've had a meeting to discuss this case and what needs to happen moving forward. We have also reached out to the firefighter at the center of these concerns for a formal interview and we're still waiting to hear back. In the meantime, we're still pushing the city of Tampa, Tampa Fire Rescue and the police department for answers, which includes asking for a copy of that HR investigation the city completed back in April. Earlier this afternoon, a city spokesperson told me I couldn't see the documents related to that HR investigation because of the current police investigation. I then asked him if that meant that completed HR investigation was now subject to police scrutiny, but he didn't respond. In the studio, Rochelle Aline, ABC Action News.